Once again, Trump has played the media and tricked them into falling into a massive trap. Trump plays 4D chess and gets the media to admit that Biden called African Americans predators. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on the internet, we're here with Donald J. Trump, the man himself, on Twitter. Biden made another big mistake. He totally mixed up two crime bills. Don't have a clue, as usual. Also, he freely used the term super predator. In an epic case of 4D chess, Donald J. Trump has done it again. He's trolling the media with this, and I'm going to explain how. You see, as soon as Trump put out this statement that Joe Biden called African American super predators, the fact checkers came out and said, No way, Jose. Joe Biden did not use the term super predator. He used the term predator. <laughs> Like that's any better. Here you can see on Twitter. U.S. elections. There is no record of Joe Biden using the term super predator. NBC News and factcheck.org report. Democrat presidential nominee. Joe Biden has never publicly used the term super predator. Okay. Now, my friends, here's why this is so juicy and, and, and a perfect example of 4D chess. You see, Trump knows, he knows that Joe Biden didn't use the term super predator. That was Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton used the term super predator. But he also knows that Joe Biden called the African American community predators in an insane rant. So by playing this 40 chess, saying that Joe Biden said super predator, not only is he getting the fact checkers to admit, admit and prove that Joe Biden called huh, black people predators. He's also hitting Hillary Clinton and discrediting the mainstream media and the fact checkers all in one. Trump is playing five dimensional checkers. All these people are playing one dimensional Othello. So we're going to talk about this folks because it's honestly hilarious. You know, I'm going to show you the footage and, and all that. But before we continue, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for more content. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a share. So let's continue folks. I honestly find this hilarious. Look at this, factcheck.org. I see why am I. Trump repeatedly claimed that Biden was spearheading the 1994 crime bill where he called African American super predators and they've never forgotten it. Actually, that was a phrase famously uttered by Hillary Clinton, not Biden. And you can even see like these left wing people on Twitter saying, oh, there's no evidence of this. Jamila's Lartney says, there's no evidence of this. Blonde American chick replies, Hillary said super predators, Biden said predators, good catch. Yep. Born out of wedlock, without parents, without supervision, without any structure, without any conscience developing, because they literally, I yield myself three more minutes, because they literally have not been socialized. We should focus on them now. If we don't, they will, or a portion of them will, become the predators 15 years from now. And Madam President, we have predators on our streets. So, do you see the play here? Yeah, um, I think Trump is smart enough to know that Joe Biden didn't say super predators, but he knew, he knew if he just baited the media, they couldn't resist and they had to bite. They had to bite that bait and they got played. And this isn't the first time it's happened. You see, Trump has been using this technique for a very, very long time. He'll say a quote or he'll give a statistic and it'll be slightly off, slightly off. And then the fact checkers come and say, well, actually, Trump is wrong. It's actually this. But in doing so, they admit there is a problem. They admit that what Trump was saying is based in reality. It's, it's just like when Trump said that, uh, like, uh, I don't know, X number of people are coming into the country every year. And he gave a big number. And then the fact checkers were like, actually, it's 200,000 less. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know. In doing so, they admit that actually there's a whoo, there's a lot of people coming here illegally. And now everybody knows that's the play. And it amazes me that after all this time, they've learned nothing, nothing whatsoever. And of course, you have the left wing uh, people on woke Twitter who are absolutely delusional and have TDS, Trump derangement syndrome, who are trying to slap back. Chip Franklin says, who agrees that Trump is a super predator? 
You know what I've noticed about the left? And maybe you're going to agree with me, but why, why is it why is it that every time you expose the Democrats or the left wingers or the liberals and whatever, the activists, why is it that the response is always, no you, right? Joe Biden was corrupt and did illegal dealings in Russia. No you. Joe Biden said that young African American men were predators. No you. It's annoying. It proves that these people are brainless. Like they're literally five years old. Some people call these people mental midgets. No offense to, uh, you know, any, the community of smaller folk. It's not what I mean. I just mean that these people are dumb. You know, they're short of brain. I swear to God, like there are literally people who are such irrelevant losers that they built their entire following on hating the big bad orange man. Here we have Jeff Tiedrich. Explain your work, bro. Don't just repeat what you saw on Fox News while jamming burger after burger into your face. Mmm, <coughs> I can smell the soy from here, folks. Um, really? I see this guy on literally every single Trump tweet. This is what he does. This is his life. This is what he lives for. What a pathetic, sad little man. You know, Joe Biden, he didn't just call African-Americans predators. He also said that kids living in a diverse neighborhood live in a racial jungle. He said these things, and he said a lot of other things that are very questionable, in my opinion. Well, kind of, uh, kind of bigoted, in my opinion. He said these things. And, and the fact that they're trying to, like, they, they want to protect Joe Biden so much that they're willing to bend over backwards to defend him. It, it's only drawing more attention to this. Do you realize that if they had never bothered to fact check Trump, that less people would be aware of it? Now everybody knows and everyone is talking about it because they want to get the big bad orange man so bad, so bad that they sabotage themselves. Can you imagine calling yourself a man and having all of these hashtags in your bio? He, he says he's a father. I'm sure his wife's son is growing up well now. It's absolutely incredible how delusional these people are. Like they literally think that Joe Biden is Jesus Christ himself and can do no wrong and that Trump is the devil and everything he does is wrong. And they think they're so clever. Glenn Kessler says, Nope, that was Hillary Clinton. You're running in the 2020 election, not 2016. Stunning and brave. You idiot. Yes, it was Hillary Clinton. <laughs> you moron. You fall for it. <laughs> you fell for it. God. Oh. Just can't stop winning, I guess. You know, Trump said it himself. He's just going to keep winning and winning and winning. Idiots. Absolute idiots. Doesn't make the Democrats look very good, does it? But you know what, my friends, that's pretty much the story. Of course, actual Twitter is ignoring this completely, and uh, <laughs> they're trying to discredit the president, and you know the sad part is it's going to work for a lot of ignorant people out there, low-information voters, they call them. But uh, we know the truth, and you know what, spread the word, show other people this video, let them know that, <laughs> just let them know that Joe Biden called black people predators, not super predators. Oh, that's so much better. Absolutely so much better. But that, my friends, is merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now. Folks, what do you think about this video? Let me know down below in the comment section. As always, if you want to support the channel, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar. If you want to donate, visit my donor box page or send me crypto. Links and addresses are down below. Other ways to support the channel include visiting my merch store or one of my sponsors. And speaking of sponsors, Virtue Signal The Card Game is a card game parody of social justice activism. In Virtue Signal, you play as one of 12 different social justice warriors. The object of the game is simple, amass an army of NPC followers. It's a fun game. There are a lot of different cards with effects. Um, you know, they're working on an an expansion pack right now. One expansion is already here, Virtue Signal the Problematic Card Pack, featuring cards such as Wax My Balls Bigot, but you can get it all for only $34.98. Get yours today by clicking on a link down below. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.